Welcome to Red 50. Today we're gonna let one of my subscribers drive my 2019 Mustang GT. You have seen this car on the channel before. Thanks to him, we've been able to provide all the S650 Mustang content. If it wasn't for him, him providing with the Mustang GT, we wouldn't have all these videos of the Mustang, the comparison, the runs, and everything we've done on the channel with the Mustang. So today I want to give it back to him, and he's never driven the 2019 Mustang GT or any S550 GT. He used to have an S550 EcoBoost. So he wants to kind of see how the S650 will compare to the S550. So we're gonna hand him the keys and let him take it for a spin and really give us the honest impression how the car looks like. All right, sir, you're ready to drive your <laughs> S550. Goodness. Here's the keys. All right, let's do Make this. yourself comfortable, yeah. I know, I know we're down on like 20 plus horsepower, but it might feel a little bit slow to you. <laughs> Alright, let's get in, get comfortable. You know, I like um, what Corsa did, right? With this active exhaust. Like when you start it, it doesn't really impress you that much. Yeah. Until you open the valve. Until you put in the track mode. So you do this. It's been a while. How do you open it? So you do this twice. I have it set to my mode. One more. There we go. So you got my mode. Okay. Uh, oh, T. Yeah, there now we go. Like, now oh. we got track mode. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I bet the interior feels very dated to you. No, nah, hell no. <laughs> compared to actually, the 24. I actually prefer this. I don't have the premium, so I can't say much about it. Uh, I think I prefer this one. You but prefer don't, this one? Don't tell it to anyone. Uh, <laughs> what did this one have? I think uh, this, the screens, it's a deal breaker. I don't like it. You don't so like I the... prefer this analog, I mean this analog gaze, even though it is, um, even though it is uh, lit up, I like it this way. Then, um, you know, two tablets that you can get for 15 bucks. <laughs> but let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get yourself comfortable. A lot more heavier than the S5, I mean the SS50. Really? Yeah. And is it because I think I have it set to sport mode so right now? So when you put it on, this is sport mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For steering the thing at is, least, yeah. Yeah, go left. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. The exhaust. See, you know, a lot of people say like um, the downshift is not that crisp. I like the power shift response on this 550. I mean, it's fine. Tuning the pedal has been sensitive, which I like it, but for someone he, getting in, it's you know, he probably did a trans tuning on it. Show your ratio, not that bad. <laughs> Is different since you've been driving for a little while compared to yours. The um, steering you mentioned. The transmission, it, it's not, um, do, it's not as, as crisp, crispy, or whatever you oh, want to call it. Oh, compared to yours. The okay. mine, because when I hit it, it did delay a little bit. Ah, interesting. And then um, once it hit, that's why we have that uh, bump because of my yeah. foot was already like halfway, and then it took time. Okay. But I think that's the way, so you can let all those be um, Chevy pass you, <laughs> and you can just hit it. So I can feel your shift and I can't feel mine. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm driving. Since the tune again, can, it has gone a little bit more. I can firm. only I can only feel mine when it's like when the engine is uh, cool, yeah. cool down, like cold start, and when you're driving. But when it's get warmer, the transmission is good. But I I felt the force in second, but I didn't feel anything else. Interesting. So that was uh, yeah. I, I said that was that was nice. All right. miserable as hell you can't you can't do that right it's the it's 50 the exhaust sound even with yours you just have the x pipe and nah, it just sounds so good yeah it's uh Corsa let's say 1 to 10 Corsa is 10 in mine I say 8 7 7.5 7. yeah or 8 but once I put headers will be close. oh yeah that's gonna be loud I can't wait yeah. to hear how it's gonna sound so with the I'll, headers yeah the headers will be coming in four months okay then we're gonna I have an updated video on the exhaust battle oh, yeah Cause I want to wait and see because um, even though it's not tuned some people got their headers on yeah but I just don't want to risk it because those guys like um, you know they either got sponsorship or whatever yeah and this is my daily because um, you don't want to mess with that no one's paying eight, for it yeah yeah just for eight months ownership I already put there 20,000 miles that is crazy guy he drives a lot uh, last time I met him <laughs> it had 10,000 miles and now right. he's actually 20,000 miles and that was like miles. What, two and a half uh, months ago yeah something. we met up like I think I want to say like in March yeah like February March. or March I remember March. it was cold yeah, yeah. And at that uh, point you know <laughs> at that point 10,000 miles he had just crossed us I'm like you're already right. driving a lot now right. 20,000 miles yeah. <laughs> so I think I need to buy it daily he needs um, to get it daily and we're also gonna also have a long term Review long term it. review of the Mustang technique like, because he's been driving a lot and he can speak to it in terms of reliability. So, once it crosses 25 30,000 miles, it'll be interesting to see how the Mustang that 650 holds up. Yep, yep, right, yeah, behind this, it's flapper. It looks so great. No, I'm oh, yeah, just saying, oh, like it looks so great. Like, yeah, if, you, know. if you remove this right here. You probably think it's a Shelby or something. Yeah, yeah. It looks nice. So what do you think? What are your thoughts compared to the S650? I'll give it 10. Um, 10 out of 10? I'll give mine 11. Because <laughs> and are you biased? Yes. I'll be biased <laughs> because um, I drive that one for, what, almost a year now? Yeah. And uh, it's mine. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason. But when it comes to drivability, you will not feel the difference. I don't think so. Yeah. I, I, I did not feel it. But when it comes to transmission, I definitely feel it the way it's You set. feel it, yeah. But when it comes to ride, and maybe it's because of the Michelin. Yeah, it's all better. All season, but um, no complaints. All right. Yep. Well, guys, you heard it from the S650 owner. Uh, it's more or less the same car, but I think if you don't have a Gen 2, or if you, do, if you don't have a Gen 3, then definitely get the uh, Gen 4. Yeah. It is worth it. I owned the EcoBoost before, there so we go. I think I passed. If I just go straight to the XS50, mm -hmm. right? So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Again, thanks to him, we've done a lot of S650 Mustang videos because of him, uh, with his Mustang over there, as you can see. If you want to see more videos, he's gonna be doing header, seat delete, and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna bring in more videos for the S650. Comment below which videos you want to see from the S650 versus the S550.